everyone, it's Michelle the Stamp Burger. Thank you for stopping by my channel. I am here today with another layout I'm going to build that is using this Graphic Generation Allison Davis um, Hexagon Sketch Bundle One Page Sketches. This is sketch number five. I'm playing along with Sarah Scrap, so be sure and check out how she interpreted the sketch. Today, I am scrapbooking a photo of my son. Of course, now I can't find it, but um, I'll find it if I keep picking things up. So I'm using like three different paper pads from two Echo Park, one Cardabella. And I was looking at, so some of these is embellishments. And then I've got yellow. Here's the photo. So it calls for a three by three. I cut this down to two and a half by three and a half. So basically like a wallet size. I'm just kind of pulling the colors out. There's yellow, there's a little bit of red, there's blue, gray. I don't have any gray, but I did pull out blue, uh, green. So this takes a lot of two inch hexagon hexagon so I will be using my hexagon punch and then it also calls for a lot of stars on the hexagons um, and this paper is actually I don't know what this cards from I'm not sure but I have it I had it in my scraps with blue skies um, I don't know if maybe this might work. Um, I'm not wanting to do the teal. So I'm not sure. I may just use that. And then I might cut this into a hexagon if it fits. Although the hexagons on this sketch are turned where the points are at top and bottom. So I'm not sure if that'll cut right it probably would cut the other way and then I have some of these little circles that look like you could cut them out punch them out and uh, maybe even put some glossy accents on them so I'm not sure um, I don't think I'm gonna do a lot of embellishing there's like 20 hexagons I need to punch out and then a few more if I want to layer them so oh and I also have star punches, one and three quarter, one, five eighths, and then this little baby one. And then I have, I think these are the medium and the small. This one makes a two inch from point to point. And this one I think is about one and a half. I know there's a third one, but I never have figured out which one um, I actually am missing. So, let me get to punching and I'll come back and show you where I am. All right, so I am back. Let me think what all I did. So I found the center so that this uh, point lined up with the six inch mark. I didn't quite get it centered this way, but I think it's okay. I just punched out a bunch of hexagons with my larger punch. And then after I laid them all out and figured out where, how I wanted to kind of divide the colors up, spread them out, I had some extras. And what I did is I attached a post-it and then I slipped it into the smaller hexagon to punch it out. That way I didn't waste these. I also did that with one of the stars. So I tried the one and three quarter punch and I felt like it was too big. So then I used all of the stars or this one inch. So instead of wasting the star, I punched it out with this. Um, and the sketch doesn't really have like a lot of embellishing. I didn't have like the clusters really. Um, so I just kept mine simple. Um, 
I did end up backing this with the blue and then some of the yellow, but the blue, if you notice, doesn't go all the way around, neither does the yellow. Um, what happened is I just used like what I'd already punched out, right? And then I wanted to elevate it a little bit, so I went to my scraps and I found this really thick, like kind of ugly color green cardstock. I cut it out twice, just a tad smaller. And I would have already glued it down, but I wanted to show you how I use this paper, basically scraps, to mat my photo. I also matted it in white. So it's going to go here, and then I just used my tab punch, and I punched that out, and then I used a roller stamp to stamp the date, and that will just go there. And then um, I used three different alphabets. I use these stickers. I love this size of foam stickers. So I use that for the ASU. And then these wonky ones from Bella Boulevard. I had never used these and I used them recently. I can't remember what I used them on, but I thought they kind of worked with code, you know, coding. I don't know, kind of wonky. And then these are in a close to my heart bag, but these red foam, I got a set of red ones and blue ones at the dollar store years ago and then i was afraid to use them i'm like oh my gosh i bought them at the dollar store they can't be any good i love them now i will be adding some more adhesive um and then i also wanted to show you i pulled off the laptop puffy sticker and i just put it there just kind of to nestle it in and even though it says school life um and this was a summer computer camp I still felt like it would work. And then I wanted to show you these tiny little foam adhesive squares I bought from Scrapbook Generation. I do not like them. And this is all I've used up. And so since Close My Heart has discontinued their foam dots, which I love, 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 they're discontinued. They do still have a foam tape like like this they do still have tape on a roll but I've gotten used to using those little dots so I use these it takes forever to pull the little release paper off but I am determined to use this up I've been keeping um, a little bin of all my used up things like every time I change out my ATG gun I save the roll just kind of like I did in, at the end of the year. I want to see what all I used up. So, um, I see this isn't straight, even though I tried really hard. Um, and I wanted to show you, I had gutted this red paper. It's a cardstock that has like an embossing on it. They are UV coating, and it's from Close My Heart from a couple years ago from the blue skies and so when I cut into it I went ahead and gutted it like a couple years ago because I knew it would make a great frame so it was already ready to go I just cut down my white to I to cut off a half inch off two sides so basically a quarter inch off both sides and you can see I'm gonna need to glue the C down but now um, another thing documented, right? I just realized that is the same as that. So I'm not sure. Maybe if I move it up a little bit. Um, and I did put some of these stars up. Just random. A little one here, there. But yeah, that was actually a really quick layout for me. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. And there are a ton of friends that are playing along. And there's actually three days of school layout. So, um, oh, and I'm, I'm talking about the other thing. This is an actually, um, <laughs> actually, this is a school layout. It is a school layout. We're going to count it into the school hop. 
I didn't even think about it. Sarah and I are playing with this hexagon sketch. It's sketch number five. I forgot what I was talking about. So um, be sure and check her channel out and see how she used the sketch. I'm anxious to see how she used it. But also check out the school hop that she's um, hosting. It's three days of... of it's three days of scrapbooking videos. All right. Have a great day. Bye.